Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can upload your own package to NPM or Node Package Manager. So to keep this super simple, I'm going to be creating a very basic Node project that will simply just have an add function and we'll be spending most of this video focusing on how to actually deploy that. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and create this Node project. However, you should see on the YouTube player where I go ahead and actually deploy this. So you can skip ahead if this is something that you don't need to follow along with. So I'm going to go inside the, my folder here within my console and I'm going to run npm init-y. This is going to initialize a node project and generate a package JSON for us. I'm also going to make a new file called index.js. This is simply just going to have an add function. So I can say const add equals, we can have num1 and num2. And this is simply just going to return plus num1 plus plus num2. This is going to essentially convert num1 and num2 into numbers and then add them and return the sum. Then we can go ahead and export this with module.exports.add equals add. And now we can import this within any actual project that is going to use this package. So again, this is very, very simple. I'll go ahead and save this. And the first step we want to do is we want to first create a GitHub repo for this. And then after that, we're going to publish this to NPM. So I'm going to go into Chrome. Here I'm creating a new repository. I'm going to name this npm demo. And then I'm going to simply click on create repository. Then we get sent to a page like this. This might be something you're familiar with. One thing we want to make sure we do is we want to create a readme right here. So readme.md, which stands for markdown. And so this is going to be a markdown file. So I'm going back into VS Code. I'm going to make a new file called readme.md. So within here, we can use a hashtag in order to specify different sections. These are basically just going to be header elements within the actual HTML. And so I'm going to specify the installation portion. And within here, I'm just going to specify how to actually install this, which will be with npm install wok for worn off keys dash npm dash demo. This is going to be just a demo project. This will eventually be deleted. However, I'm going to name it this exact thing here. But with this said, we do have to make sure that this is the actual name for our node project here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and going inside of package.json, inside of npm package, which is going to be the name of the folder, I'm going to paste in worn off keys npm demo. I can then save and close this. And we want to actually set up a GitHub repo for this. So it's in my console, which I'm navigated into this folder inside of. I can say git init. I'm going to go ahead and expand this real quick. It now initialize an empty git repo. We can go back into here and we can do the rest of these steps. So I can say git add star, which is going to add everything to this repo. We can say git status to confirm this. And here we see these three files. We could then say git commit dash m, and we can say first commit. Then git branch dash m main. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy these next two lines and right click in the console to paste them. This is all standard setup for making GitHub repos, which you might be familiar with. At this stage, I'm going to enter my passphrase, and then I can use git status, and we see that your branch is up to date. I can go ahead and refresh on the GitHub page, and we now see this right here. We see our files, we see installation, which is just npm install worn off keys npm demo. Obviously, this won't do anything right now because we haven't actually deployed it to npm, but it's important that we also have a GitHub repo that's very useful for the users. Also, of course, you might want to add more detail into this readme, but that's up to you and your own implementation. Next, we're going to go to npmjs.com, and you'll have to actually create an account for this. And once you have created your account, still within the same exact directory of our package, we can do npm add user, add user being one word. It's going to ask you for your username and the password that you use for your actual npm account. You want to enter those. And it should go ahead and actually understand that you are going to be the user. It's basically going to log you in. I'm not going to do this because I've already done this. I'm just going to use Control C to cancel. However, at this stage, once we have our project published to GitHub, and once we have our npm account linked up with our console here, we can then do npm publish. And it's going to go through and actually publish this to the npm repository. So ideally, you should see that everything went OK. We could then do a search or worn off keys npm demo and we see it right here actually go ahead and click on this and at this stage you might see a 404 
So that's fine. After giving a few minutes of waiting, we can then refresh and you should eventually see the actual page. Here we see the installation, we see certain keywords, and there's a lot of different ways you can actually optimize this. And so this is how we're going to deploy our packages to the NPM repository. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you do need help with anything, then feel free to ask within the Warnoff Keys Discord server. We have a bunch of people joining every day, as you can see here. We're about to pass 2,700 members. And once you do join, you can scroll down and you can ask your JavaScript questions within the JavaScript channel right here. And I'm sure someone will be able to help you out.